evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This in the 170-pound welterweight division. This bout is proudly sponsored by Chuck Signs. Visit chuckssign.com for more information. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Paul Asma. And now introducing first, fighting out of the red corner to my left. He's wearing black with white. The weight did a trim and ready, 167 and a half pounds. He enters the cage for the second time and is representing Team Thunder from Watertown, Connecticut. Please welcome Tom Rossi. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner to my right. Wearing blue and weighing in the trim and ready, 169 and a half pounds. Tonight, making his amateur debut, representing FSU and from right here in Chicopee, Massachusetts. Please welcome Shane Tuber. All right, so we got Tom Rossi uh, out of Thunder MMA. I don't know much about uh, Tom uh, other than a split decision loss in 2013. Um, yeah, that's all I got. His opponent is uh, Shane Jubert. He's an independent fighter. He's got his hands down, chin up. Chin down, hands up. Um, very dangerous. That's always the uh, the game plan I want my opponent to have when I'm fighting. Yes. Both of them, both chin up, looking over their punches. Um, it looks like our Team Thunder guy is a bit more seasoned, though. Um, very raw, both of them. A lot of head movement out of uh, Jubert. Jubert's hanging right in range uh, of, of the... Oh, ooh. Dodge that. Jubert with the reverse of the clinch on the cage. He's got double underhooks. Tom, double underhooks, trying to stop any uh, ability to drop down for that double. They choose to restart in the middle of the cage. Hands down all the way at his waist. His mouth is wide open too. He might want to uh, lower that chin. Big punches from Rousey. Both very tentative to throw right now. Looks like a nice right hand from, from Jubert. Oh! Just what I thought was going to happen. Rousey clipped him. Decent recovery from Jubert, but we got a guillotine attempt right now from Rousey. Oh, nope. No, looks like he has some space. He's got an arm trap, though. Rousey's got his arm trapped. Rousey has Jubert's arm trapped, that is. Mouthpiece fell out. Um, for you folks at home, it's uh, not advised to stand with your chin up and hands down. That looks fairly tight now. I can't see from this corner if his, if his hands are locked. Okay, they are. Jupiter was fighting Rousey's hands pretty well, but now it looks like he's reversing the position. Rousey could get them out from here if he decides to uh, let go of that guillotine. Which I would suggest even to hold on and, and get him out and then really crank on it. More of the alpha male guys over uh, in Cali, they love finishing the chokes on top. Absolutely. It's a preferred position for me. Uh, if I lose the choke, I'm still on top and, and I'm, I'm not giving up position. Absolutely, it's always good to end up on top. So. All right, so at the end of that round, I would hope that the corner of uh, FSU, and for you guys at home, you can figure out what FSU stands for, but uh, I would hope that they're going to tell him, you know, put those hands up, drop that chin, look through the, his brow line, and really try to protect his head a bit more. If I was Rousey's corner from uh, Thunder MMA, I would probably be telling, them, telling uh, Rousey to press the action and to throw lots of punches and combinations directly at Jubert's chin. 
Yeah, you know, Jupiter, one of the things he's doing is he's lifting his head up even more as he retreats to kind of stay outside those punches. And like you said, with the combinations, one of them's going to land. Absolutely. And we saw we saw with Anderson what happened when he did that with, with uh, Second Wyden. Out. Second Five seconds, out. let's go. Out, out, out. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round two, scheduled to three. All right, so so uh, the corner of Shane is telling him to let his hands go. Oh, now he rocked him. So Jalbert just returned the favor. Jalbert's got to be careful to not punch himself out here. Both fighters early in their in their MMA careers need to get their hands up in front of their faces. Even even Shane uh, got clipped right there as well. They're both trading. Shane, uh, you know what reminds me of Raw Fighter just likes to scrap. Absolutely. And he's he's finding uh, Rossi's chin. Looking a little winded himself now. One of, one of the most taxing things in MMA is a young fighter that smells blood. Nice shots from Jubal here. He's got Rousey pressed against the cage. But here comes Rousey. They are exhausted. And on the double, finishes. Full guard from Rousey here. Trying to lock up that body triangle, which would be great to kind of squeeze the air out of, uh, of Shane. Shane's on top directly in his corner, and he's taking instructions from them right now. Full guard from Rousey. He's not doing much from the bottom. He's probably just trying to get his breath back here. Left standing him up, both not active on bottom. I, I agree with that. Assuming both of them need a little bit longer, both look tired. Oh, big punch. These guys are exchanging here. <laughs> yeah, they are. Trying for a hip toss. Oh! Nice reversal by Rousey. <laughs> Looks like we got full mount from uh, Tom here. Tom's doing the right thing. He's pressing that head down and trying to get some distance. They are exhausted, but still going. I love it. We, got, we can't question their heart. They both have been tagged a couple times and uh, pressing through. I definitely have a couple of scrappy kids here. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Shane's just trying to tie him up to get the stand up, possibly maybe take a uh, breath or two. Short time. Who do we give that round to? Got to go with Tom. All right. So I don't know who to choose as uh, right now. You said Tom that round. They, um, they both rocked each other. They, they <laughs> yeah. both found each other's chins, but I think Tom's got a couple takedowns that, that might score points for the judges. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this Tom is sponsored by Chuck Signs. Visit chucksign.com for more information. Well, Jesse uh, did a good job again of taking young guys and, and, uh, and put them together. Shane looks pretty exhausted in his corner, but he just exerted a lot of energy going for the kill in that last round. These two fighters are certainly showing their heart tonight.
looks. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think you might have played possum there, Jeff. As I was going to say, Shane looks uninterested. Kind of pulled a little cat move and tricked us. These guys are going for it. Calls him up. Shane Jalbert is a gentleman. Nice <laughs> lead, jo lead jab there. Shane wants to finish, man, for sure. I'd like to see Shane get uh, more refined striking. These two guys are going for it. You gotta love this in amateur MMA. The amateur MMA fighters are not afraid to exchange and show us their heart. Tom again with that, uh, that I wouldn't call it a takedown, but now dominant position. Unless we see something big from Shane here, that might have solidified the fight for Tom. Yeah, I would have to agree. Got a loose side control from Tom right here. Ref looks like he's gonna stand him up. Oh, as I say that, Tom's trying to step into him out. Always on the bottom. I think Shane might be the, the fresher fighter here. Tom settles in the side. Legs control. fully extended flat, just resting. I like Tom's approach here with the knees of the body when both fighters are exhausted. Yeah, and staying active, making sure they don't get stood up. Absolutely. Big knee to the body from the top. Shane's corner telling him to flip him. Tom's trying to post that head and strike. He's doing all the right things right now. Staying uh, active enough that it's not going to get stood up. Pushing the head away like you said. Shane's corner is no longer giving him instructions. They are starting a chant. Short time. Looks like time's going to finish the fight on top. Tom Ross, absolutely. Fight. He finished strong here. And finishes him out. So, you know, I I'm going to have to go with Tom in that fight. I agree with you, Jeff. I think Tom, he controlled the, the fight on the mat a lot more than, than Shane did. It was pretty even standing up. I think the ground game is what is, is going to make the difference here. Yeah, we saw good spurts out of Shane and, and, and aggressiveness, but we just didn't have the overall control of the, the cage that Tom did and, like you said, the ground. I think a little more experience in cage time will do both these guys a lot of good, and I'm kind of excited to see him in the future. Yeah, they, they like the scrap, which is always a good thing. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for these two warriors once again, Shane Hubert and Tom Rossi. After three exciting rounds of action, we have a split decision. Judge ringside, David Ginsburg sees about 29, 27. He has it for Rossi. Judge ringside, Brian Minor sees it 29, 28. He has it for Jubert. Well, judge at ringside, Michael Menace says about 30 to 27. For your winner in the red corner, Tom Rossi! Yeah.